But Yang's idea could soon get a test run in Newark, New Jersey. To combat poverty in that city, the mayor, Ross Bakari, has proposed simply giving every resident there a regular stipend. We believe in universal basic income. Martin Luther King believed in universal basic income, especially in a time where studies have shown uh, that families that have a crisis of just $400 in a month may experience a setback that may be difficult, even impossible for them to recover from, where a third of our city still lives in poverty. We have to have a mind to build, a mind to work, and all we're asking for you to do is to help us work and build this city. So this idea has gotten very popular, more popular than you may know, but it does come with a number of questions, beginning with who pays for it exactly, and if you're getting the money every month, why would you work? Isn't this giving up on people? Quentin James is the founder of Collective Pack, and he joins us tonight. Mr. James, thanks very much for coming on. So I guess that's my core feeling. First of all, let me say I applaud the attention that people are paying to the poor and the working poor in particular. I think that's laudable. But this does seem like giving up on them. And in effect, the message is you're losers. You will never participate meaningfully in our economy. We're just going to pay you off. People want meaning. They want to feel like their lives are, uh, are purposeful. Isn't this acknowledging that they're never going to be meaningful? Not at all, Tucker. Um, this is, that, that, that is exactly the opposite. Uh, huh. What we know is that income inequality in this country has gotten out of control. Uh, what we see in states like here in Ohio and across the Midwest, uh, companies are laying off workers and leaving them to fend for themselves. Right. All the while, corporations like Netflix and Amazon are paying zero dollars in federal income tax. And so as taxpayers, as citizens of this country, yes, I think it is very appropriate for us to consider universal basic income to take care of our own and to make sure that folks are uh, given a little something to help them get by. We know too many folks around the country are working two and three jobs to just to basic, you know, uh, to, to, to make basic ends meet. And unfortunately, it's gotten out of hand and we need to do something about okay, it so, really quickly. So, so the first part of what you said, I, I agree with completely. I absolutely do. I think, I think one of the key problems in our society is big companies don't feel any obligation to the country that made them possible. And I, I exactly. think we completely agree. But handouts are depressing and they're degrading. I mean, people who inherit tons of money don't tend to thrive. They tend to become drunks, okay? That's just true. And so we know that handing people stuff isn't good for them. It hasn't been good for the inner cities. It hasn't been good for the very rich. It's never good. So why wouldn't Tucker, you come up Tucker, with some I, work? I, I, would, I would agree with you that yeah. many of our social welfare programs are not keeping people out of poverty. Uh, or preventing them from getting into poverty. I think what we're saying with universal basic income is why don't we lift some restrictions, give folks the means to do what they want to with some basic level of funding, and let's see what happens. We're very much in a, in a, in a test case now. So but, but the, program in, the program in Newark, the program um, right. out in Stockton, they are a test, they're pilots to see what this could really mean for families who okay. uh, are, are struggling. Okay, but no one's approaching this uh, empirically, as you know. Head Start has been evaluated for over 50 years. It doesn't work, and we still fund it. You know, no program ever goes away, as you know, and especially so, giving people stuff. But, but here's what we do know. Do you disagree with the proposition that giving people something for nothing, whether they're poor or rich, it's a human thing, is bad for them? It doesn't make them feel good about themselves. So, so we're talking right now about poor people, and I actually believe that when you give poor people additional money, it actually increases their responsibility. I think people, when they are struggling to make ends meet, they're struggling how to, uh, de determining how they're gonna keep their lights on, pay their mortgage um, every month, that actually uh, increases their, um, the, 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 what it does is it, 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 it decreases their ability to make better decisions, to Wait, pay their take mortgage. care of their children. So you're, you're to gonna do, I thought this was for poor people. Or pay their rent. Pay their okay. rent. Pay, pay their rent. Okay. That's what I mean. So, but is there an income threshold? Like, can you get this UBI if you're working? Again, this, these are pilot studies. Uh, no, but I what do you think? Should, should we give it to there everybody? Be personally. I, yeah. I don't think everyone, in my opinion. Uh, I think what we're seeing right now is, and to your point, right, around the rich. Donald Trump has been giving tax breaks to the top 1%. Oh, come I don't on. think we need to continue trying, giving, uh, giving I mean, things please, to the I don't rich. Have I think a we need to focus a, a real conversation. on okay. people who really need the, the, the help. Okay, well, I'm just asking you one more time, because mm -hmm. I think this is the core question. Do you think, you really believe 
that giving people something they haven't earned makes them feel good about themselves. It increases their dignity. Do you really believe that? And is there any evidence for that at all? So, so, but, but, but in your question, there, there seems to be a assumption that people aren't working, right? That I'm not mothers they're not who working. maybe stay I'm at just home mothers this is money aren't, aren't valued the same way that someone is working for a company. What, what do we as a society actually value? How do, how do we determine work? We know that automation is going to take almost. I agree. 40 Look, I'm with you 100. percent I just so think this is the easy way out. Work? This is how the easy way out. Work? What you're saying is we don't care. Okay, we're out of time. I hope you'll come back because I think it's a really important. I, I would conversation. love to, Tucker. Thank Thanks you. so much. We want to end tonight with some great news. Don't have a lot of it, but this is great. This is Kelly McNally. She's one of our favorite people. She works here. Whenever you see people on this show and you wonder who convinced them to come here, it was likely Kelly McNally. She is that nice. On Saturday, she married her match, Ray Ernie. He also works at Fox. He is also universally loved here. Kelly and Ray were married at the Church of the Epiphany in Miami, so we loaded up the TCT van and headed down to cheer them on. Is there anything better than seeing good people marry each other? Can't think of anything. It was wonderful. Congratulations to Kelly and Ray. You are making the world better in the only way that matters. You want to improve this world marry someone decent. That is true. And that's it for us. We're out of time. We'll be back tomorrow night, 8 p.m.